The former winner slammed Simon Cowell for labeling the boys brave. He moaned, let's be honest, this is the first year contestants have been allowed to do their own songs. Let's stop saying how brave these guys are, it's an advantage in respect to them for being able to do it. However, the foursome have responded to James's remarks by thanking him. They say it's thanks to his bold moves on the show that contestants were allowed to perform originals during the live shows this year. ITV Rex Shutterstock Ashley told me, I think that James played a really important role in X Factor and how it developed because he went for people just singing normal covers as they were, but James took a massive risk by actually doing things differently. I remember he put a dubstep drop in an Adele song, that is huge risk. It showed his artistry but, if that would have gone wrong people might have scrutinized him for it and it could have been a bad thing, but he stuck to his guns. I think what we have done is relatively similar. We just knew we wanted to do our own thing, we had covers suggested to us and were just like, actually, we want to do our own stuff. James set an example of sticking to your guns. They debuted several of their own songs, including Touche, Mona Lisa and their winner single Demello, and teased that they have plenty of more songs written. Ashley insisted they will follow in the footsteps of the more successful contestants such as Little, Mix and One Direction by wasting no time in delivering music. He added, the plan is to be as active as possible, keep building that momentum, as we are the flavor of the month at the moment, and the best way to keep that going is to release new music. We'll be in the studio next week. People's attention spans are very low when it comes to music, it doesn't take a lot for them to turn off music because they haven't digested it. We want to try and give people a body of work they want to listen entirely. If we can emulate the success of Little Mix, One Direction, JLS, we will be very happy. Cowell gushed, I am so excited about what they will achieve as recording artists going forward. They have worked hard for this. Taylor Swift in pictures Taylor Swift looks sensational in her sexiest photos ever. YouTube, Taylor Swift plays with her alter ego in a new shoot for British Vogue. The reputation songstress switches between the innocent country singer and vengeful new Tay in the January issue of the magazine, which is out this Friday. Meanwhile, her endgame collaborator Ed Sheeran has spilled on his Christmas plans with girlfriend Cherry, Seaborn, they'll be playing board game What Do You Mem? He I'm going to play that with her family. She only lives a couple of miles away from me. So I usually have Christmas at my house and drive over to hers. Thrilling. Rihanna says she will not just use trans models as a gimmick for her Fenty beauty line. RIRI said, I've had the pleasure of working with many gifted trans women throughout the years but I don't go around doing trans castings just like I don't do straight non-trans women castings. I don't think it's fair for a trans woman or man 
to be used as a convenient marketing tool. The Killers are returning to the UK for some summer loving. They will headline the Isle of Wight Festival, with Tepesh Mode, Kasabian and Liam Gallagher between June 22nd to 24th next year. The Rackers also play two gigs at Swansea Liberty Stadium on June 23rd and Bolton Mackern Stadium on July 13th. That means Prince Harry's faves are still free to play the royal wedding. Charlie XCX has announced an all-star mixtape. The boys' singer has collaborated with a huge list of artists including Tove Lo, Carly Rae Jepsen, Mo, and Koopkak. She teased the release on by writing Imagine if I did another mixtape with before listing the featuring, stars, and gushing and would be pretty cool right? Tove Lo's song, Out of My Head, will be released by Christmas. We can all hang tough this Christmas thanks to new kids on the block. The former boyband had raided the loft to unleash an early festive prizzy in the form of three new songs. The thankful, unwrapped, EP arrives ahead of a new band documentary available via NKOTB.com this Saturday. Time to dust off my old vinyl. Alicia Dixon plans to turn her Aurora Bean book about a superhero schoolgirl into a movie. The former Mystique last set at London's Batacon Festival, it's coming out on April 5th. I definitely see her coming to life whether that be a feature film animation or TV series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.